Steve here from B&H Photo at NAB 2014. I'm here with Dave Roberts of Modu, and we're going to talk about the XDX SDI with Thunderbolt. Dave, thanks for spending some time with us. Steve, welcome to the booth. Thanks. Tell me that this is now an interface. Yes, uh, the HDX SDI video interface with Thunderbolt technology is the latest product from Motu. And by video interface, what I mean is this provides audio and video input and output to a Macintosh computer. Or, it, a, or a PC. Uh, yes, Macintosh or a Windows computer. Uh, and uh, the, what's new about this is the Thunderbolt connection. The HDX SDI with Thunderbolt joins the family of Motu video interfaces. The previous generation of the HDX SDI uses a PCI card or Express card. And we also have a smaller interface called the HD Express. So this is our third video interface in the market. And when we say interface, so it's for getting video and audio signals into the computer for editing or switching and then out again, playing out to analog or digital devices. That's correct. This is for capture and playback. It has both analog and digital audio and analog and digital video inputs and outputs. It's a very flexible device. Let's for example, start talking about, I'm going to jump in, but let's start talking about the, the audio because I see eight quarter inch TRS inputs and outputs. Yes, we have two units in the rack here and you're looking at the front panel and the rear panel. So on the rear panel we see eight channels of balanced line level analog audio input and output. There's also eight channels of digital audio via the AES EBU, and we can pass eight channels of digital audio embedded through the HDMI or SDI connections. It's a total of 16 channels of audio input and output, and the audio functions of the HDX SDI are supported with core audio drivers on Macintosh, and WDM and ASIO drivers on Windows. So the audio functions of this interface will work with any software on Mac or Windows. Now the video input and output, again we have analog and digital. Uh, you see on the front panel there's our legacy uh, composite right. connections. We also and have, this video. Yep. Uh, we also have uh, component connections, SD or HD. For digital we have HDMI and SDI uh, input and output. The video functions of this interface are specifically supported by Avid Media Composer on both Macintosh and Windows. And on the Macintosh, we're also supporting Final Cut Pro 7 and Final Cut Pro 10, and on Windows, Adobe Premiere. So in our output now, we're getting two mirrored outputs. You can see that uh, we have one uh, SDI input and two SDI outputs. And the general purpose of that is, uh, for example, you may want to send one SDI output to your video monitor and the second SDI output to a layback deck, for example. Right. And I've got this question here about this. Window here, what have we got that for? Uh, full synchronization and machine control. So the timecode reader, if you're capturing while reference to timecode, if you're laying back to tape while reference to timecode, you'll see that display. You see there's an RS-422 uh, control port. We also have input and output for video reference for LTC SMPTE, uh, so uh, full synchronization capabilities. I even like this little bit here where it's you can turn the termination on or off as you need it. It's got all the features you need. It even has additional features such as ASC, CDL, color grading on both input and output. So Dave, this is a really great looking unit. I mean, it's proven and now you've added Thunderbolt and it's ready to go and fits right into your pre-established workflow. Yes, this is our second Thunderbolt product. Uh, we uh, introduced the 828X Thunderbolt audio interface and that was uh, introduced at the NAMM show several months ago. So uh, we're going strong on Thunderbolt. It looks great and I'm sure it's going to be a great product. Thanks for spending time with us, Dave. Thank you, Steve. And for B&H Photo, I'm Steve at NAB 2014. Thanks for watching.